so. <laughs> so. <laughs> a needle pulling thread. So, <clears throat> Todd, exactly. passive recruiting. Um, we've in, in HR, we've called it an evergreen position, uh, keeping a constant pipeline to ensure you have flow. I've um, never heard of the evergreen position. Yeah, evergreen, you know, it's an evergreen. It's always green, so it's always open kind of a thing. So the evergreen position, maybe it's a customer service rep because you hire them with, with some level of frequency or consistency throughout the year. Uh, sales position, a key position within your, your position. Okay, well, I'm convinced. It, it, so anyway, so let's, let's back, take a step back up. The, now we know what Evergreen is. Yeah. Passive candidates and, and keeping an always on pipeline. Is that something that's important to companies and recruiters today? I guess it would be interesting to go back and think when that, that those sorts of Evergreen, passive candidate sort of terms started first started evolving because it seems almost naive, it seems almost strangely naive in today's environment to think that it was ever a discussion. Mm -hmm. Because I think the way, the, the challenge for recruiters, and certainly it's accelerating, the challenge is to how do you position yourself so that passive candidates really are your entire network, that everything should be a passive candidate oriented or an evergreen oriented sort of environment. And I think the, we see this in, in many ways in terms of uh, recruiting for a specific skill set, a specific industry, it's, it's the personal profile of a recruiter, it's the, the networks of that recruiter, which uh, it's what they're sharing, it's what, 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 what they know, how their own visibility and connections within that marketplace, which will create their magnetism as a, as a player in the space of recruiting. It builds their own credibility as someone worthy to discuss a career. Well, and, and the game's changed a little bit too. So as a recruiter, if I wanted that position to be always on and I wanted to keep it open so I built up a pipeline. Yep. I just went to my applicant tracking system or or you know I, I kept it on or I just more frequently ran job ads in the Sunday paper when I didn't necessarily need them, right? I was I was I was building my, my database. Today uh, we don't necessarily have to turn that button on, but we, we're just always on, aren't we? Because yep. of technology and the transparency and just brand and bring it back to brand and recognizing that it's not just about how the recruitment team within your company recruits, but it's how do they collaborate with marketing and mm. PR and, and everyone in your employee. The, the employees are your brand advocates because that online voice, that transparency, people are talking. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people talking about out there and, and um, you never know who's listening. So they're telling you about your product, your company, what it's like to work there, how terrible it is to work there, how good it is to work there. So those things, it's surprising how that, in a sense, helps to um, engage or build that always on pipeline because if people uh, feel good about your brand, your company, your culture, uh, continually hear good stories, when they are in that market or they're ready, what's one of the first things or places they may think of? Yeah. Well, hopefully it's, it's your product, your company, or you know, let me go and see if, if company Y is hiring today because gosh, I've really read and heard a lot of good things about them. And I think one of the, you mentioned marketing, so I think one of the, the hottest trends in marketing right now is these concepts around things like utility or always being helpful, right? So you, it's not just a self-centered, I need a, a, someone of this sort of talent right now, it's how can I always, how can, I be, how can I be in that space, how can I be in the environment in which those likely candidates, which at some future stage I may have an opportunity for, how can I be helping them at various stages, even when I have nothing to offer, no, no revenue generating um, way of getting value out of any way of helping them. So mm -hmm. there's many there's many ancillary opportunities along the way to really build those relationships and to become that that uh, that point of contact because you've helped people out in the past. Well, and I don't know if it's always on pipeline, but in the past, you know, if you you lost your Rolodex or you didn't have time to sort through that Rolodex or the the right uh, directories, lists, files. Um, uh, scores of paper that you may have had, it, that, that was a job in and of itself. Today, technology has enabled us to do that much easier. Mm -hmm. So I can go and I can search my applicant tracking system. And, and often people forget that. They forget that the applicant tracking system is a, is a great tool and, and Canada database. Um, they worry about reposting and getting it refreshed again. They forget about everything one who's already in their system, right? Uh, much like the different networks or the tools that allow you to capture Canada data today. And are you utilizing those effectively and searching versus just relaunching new searches? Exactly. Good stuff. Great, great.